afternoon, I'm quietly working in my office. Mr. Harper arrives and says, Carl, I have a good idea. Well, what's your good idea? But I think we need a planetarium. I said, Chris, a planetarium. That's fantastic. Although my experience with planetariums is that they're rather large, but not necessarily a problem. We could divide the community room in half. I could take over the library. And I said, Chris, well, this is very exciting, a planetarium, but could we get one in a classroom somehow? And he said, I think we could. You see, we blow them up and then we project on the inside and they're a marvelous teaching tool about the universe. What do you think, Carl? Chris was excited and I said, go for it. The Star Lab's effective for teaching lots of concepts. In astronomy, it allows us to uh, be patient about how we um, study observational astronomy. It's very difficult to hold class at night. Um, and given that Head Royce is in a canyon, it's hard to get clear horizons. Um, and so you can duplicate uh, 10,000 years of night skies in this star lab. Uh, and you can also use a pointer on the sky that allows you to teach all kinds of lessons, whether it's navigation, um, celestial coordinates, uh, the, um, the constellations, all those things are possible in a device like this. There are other cylinders that fit on the Starlab projector. So today, for example, um, longitude and latitude are being taught to the uh, fifth graders, I believe, it, because we can project a map of the Earth on there. And because the Star Lab is essentially a sphere, that map is very accurate. The semester project for the seniors who are studying astronomy is to uh, create and present a planetarium show um, that covers a lot of topics that they study during the semester. This process of trying to distill uh, very technical knowledge down into something that um, a first grader or a third grader or a fifth grader can understand um, is an exercise that uh, forces one to prioritize the important elements um, in any given concept. But it's always surprising to see a third grader ask questions that surprise and stump the 12th graders. I think the other reason for doing cross-divisional teaching in this case is that um, the students in the lower school very much admire and look up to students in the upper school. So to see those high schoolers having fun with astronomy uh, reaches an effective objective for everybody. Star Lab is often referred to as a portable planetarium because the whole device can fit into a duffel bag and two suitcases which can put, be put in cars. So we have um, had students take the planetarium to other schools and other venues um, in order to teach other people about astronomy. It's an amazing tool.